The wind protector looks. He's scurrying away. What are you here for today? <laughs> Have you come to the best garage in town? What do you mean in town? <laughs> in the world? Sam's Audi that hasn't been on the channel for a while but it's quite famous on the channel because this this got us tons of subscribers. It's got an issue. I'm not trying to dent your bonnet, I was just... I know, I shouldn't really do that, no, should you? Paint slapping. Paint right? slapping, sorry. Was, you know, just leave it, stroke it. With the, with the box on it. Right, Sam's Mrs. Audi has decided to stop driving. It's like it's in limp mode, even slower. I'll put a clip up now of Sam doing a, a 0 to 60 in it. 30 to 60. 30 to 60. And watch out, because it's proper fast. 30 to 60, let's go. One eternity later. That was fast, wasn't it? Really fast. <laughs> Top Don, you know, they help us out loads. They sent us out the new Artie. I can't get it off without scratching the bottom. They sent us a... <laughs> they sent us out the new Artie Dag 600, right? That we're going to use this to see if this is any good and to see if we can fix the car using a cheap budget diagnostics tool. And if it is any good, I'll tell you it's any good because this is the first time we're using it. What? got an I in it. What did I say? Arty Dag. Well, Arty Dag, I'm a northerner. I can say what I like, right? Yeah? So I'm going to let Sam crack on because I'm going to crack on with the XRTT video and he's going to diagnostic this, di diagnostic, diagnose this, see what's wrong with it and see if he can fix it today or he has to wait for some parts, might be able to fix it today, I don't know. But this video, we will have it up and running and fixed today. Fingers crossed, I can't believe I've just said that. Right, let Sam crack on. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you honestly know you're working that hard? I, I am certain. Have you got battery life? There is plenty of battery life at okay. the moment, yeah. So we're going to open up the Arty Diag 600 from top down? Yeah. All right, what have we got? We've got your DL16 connector. Oh, what's this? Look. Handy carry bag. Oh. Didn't want you getting that, did they? Look at that. Carry it around to your mate's house, can't you? <laughs> or you could use that as a handbag if you want. Man bag. Man bag. Don't show Colin because they want to put all his sweets in it. <laughs> Man bag, hey, that's not nice. Leave me out on this one. Right, and on Saturday is your last chance to get the entry in for the car SOS. So if you've got a car, it needs repairing, or your friend's car needs repairing, you know, you've had some issues, get your video in to the link down below, we transfer. Just walk around the car. If you're camera shy, you don't need to be on it. Just face on the car, quick walk around, what you need doing, or if it's your mates, you're gonna have to get on camera. Quick video, get it sent in. The last entry is this Saturday, which is December the 18th. So get them in, and then we'll be picking it out in the Christmas special. We've got a Christmas special, and we've got tons of giveaways. All the companies that have helped us out this year have kindly sent a load of stuff. Even my mother has been and bought a load of stuff. There is loads of stuff that we're going to be giving away in the giveaway special. So if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and click the notification bell on, then everyone can be involved, and a lot, a lot of you will get a chance of getting something in the Christmas special giveaway, because it's just a thank you to all of you that subscribe to the channel and watch all our content. We really appreciate it. Right, let's get back on with the Audi. Let's plug her in and see where we go. Right, DL16 pop. Powered up. Ignition. Right, so we're running the VIN check on the car. Machine does that itself automatically. So it's detected the make Audi. So now if we go to it is touch screen this I think. Yeah. Load her up now, see if it finds the exact car. It is Wi-Fi enabled this thing. Right, it's doing a health report. As you can see on the dash, we have many, many warning lights. Both engine lights on there. Right, so we've got a fault with the turbocharger boost control. So if we clear the codes. Yep. So we've got the same fault back again. So even after restarting, it's not clearing. So we know it's permanent. So we've got the basic diagnosis. Like you can share it to say your computer or print it off for if you want to give a copy to your customer or something. So if we just go back off here, we'll go back home, see what else we can do. So we can check battery voltage. This is lifetime as well. You can see the blue line. So it's constant. We've got no spikes and we've got no drops, which is good. Which means we haven't got, doesn't seem to have any crossed wires. Right, so 
go back out of there. This upgrades, once you connect it to the, the Wi-Fi, it will update itself. There is no cost for that, which obviously is a big thing on these diagnostic computers. A lot of them do have hidden costs that you don't find out, so you've spent about two grand on them. Right, so then we can have some data. Diagnostic report, can go back in. There's all sorts of different things. The only thing this doesn't do, which I found out the other day, it won't do a DPF regeneration. You'd need the next one up for that. You've got your professional diagnostic report there. Let's see. Open that up. It tells you straight away. It gives you the P code. So if you want to go away, you want to Google it or check out what that is, that's no problem. So we know that the fault is permanent and it is something to do with the turbo. So what we'll do is we'll go under the bonnet now and see what we can find. So let's turn that off. Right, we're not too worried about that, that's just a feed to the boost controller there, that just goes on the bottom of the airbox, we'll rectify that shortly. So what we've got here, we've got a boost controller here, a few pipes and stuff, don't think we're going to be looking at a fault with a pipe, I think we're going to be looking more something electrical. We've got all these connections here that look okay, so we'll look under here. Oh dear. As you can see, it looks like something's been trying to make its house. Nice. Oh yeah, if you look in here, there's the remnants of the uh, engine cover. Looks like we've had Mr. Mouse in. Oh yep, he's eaten halfway through the diesel pipe, which we can see there. Oh god, here we go, look. So you've got the injector wiring loom there, look, bared right back where he's eaten it. Oh, we've got chopped wires here, straight to the turbo actuator. So there is our fault. Because this is canvas, I'm not even going to try and repair this wiring. I think it'll just be easy to try and source either a new or second hand loom. So I think the next best thing is to do is get all this out and then start stripping the, uh, the wiring loom out. Right. job as Mr. Mouse, hasn't he? He's a bit of a lunatic, like. Right, I think what we'll start doing, we'll have air box out, air pipe off, battery, battery tray out, air in pipe, and then we'll see what we can see here. And then, so I'll go and get some tools. Start from the top and start unplugging everything. One potato. Two potato. You've been a bit rough with that one. You've broken that in the past, oh. haven't you? Yeah. Maybe it was the mouse, rat, whatever. <laughs> Injectors out, unplugged. Happy days, right. Glow plugs. What you want? Jesus, a long one that, innit? Might have to take the fuel pipe off to take this off. Mm -hmm. Not very nice sometimes, is it? <laughs> what do you think to the OBD reader so far, Sam? Wait, it worked? Yeah. <laughs> is it the top dong? It is the top dong. Would you like a top dong, Lewis? I already have one. Well, yeah? <laughs> oh, God. I don't even want to know. <laughs> well, that's got that out of the way a bit, hasn't it? Leak off can stay there. Fuel pipes. What else have we got attached at this end? Fuel pressure regulator. That's going to be a good one to get to. I could have put that the other way up, couldn't I? Doesn't it really matter too much if it breaks the clips on these? Because we'll get in there. We're going to have to replace the loom anyway. Right, I'm sorry, let's come off. We've got a bit there, haven't we? Yeah. What else have we got? So, which way's it going now? Oh god, it goes down there. It's not just going to be all straightforward. What's it doing going down there? It runs down that way, so that's not too bad. What else have we got up here then? Does it go off the other way or not? Yeah, there it does, doesn't it? 
goes off down here, look. Look at that canvas wires, look. <laughs> See that? Mm. Canvas sensor there. God, it goes right off. We're gonna end up having to put it on the ramp to get the bottom bit off. Oh, they put that bloody plug on upside down as well. What a nightmare. That mouse has got a lot to answer for, I'm telling you. Flipping all your plugs upside down. Yeah, it's altered them all. Made them difficult for me to get into. Yep, it goes off down the bottom. I don't know exactly where that'll be going. It'll be going to the EGR valve, I suspect. So, can we see the EGR valve plug? I think we're gonna have to go under the car for that one. Right, what we've got, where's that going? So it's in a little clip there. It goes down, round here, up there. God, it goes a long way. There's blooming clips everywhere, literally. Come on. Problem is, it wasn't designed to come back to bits like this. Mm. You know, the wiring loom's meant to last the lifetime of a car. Then it's the lifetime of the mines. Yeah, it will be when I get hold of them. <laughs> it's a sliding offer. It's going to be a broken offer in a minute. It's not even that, it's not even funny. There's a wire that goes on the back of the engine to the EGR bar, which means I'm going to have to put the car in the air, which is a nightmare because someone lowered it. <laughs> So we're getting there now, but guess what? What? An old Audi, look at that. What's wrong with it? Oh, you take your plugs out of there. Oh, anti-tamper. <laughs> nice. Tamper-proof device. Oh, my life. Go steady. <laughs> Ellie. Not my ECU. Run. Right, nice. <laughs> Bang! What are you doing? Just putting a slit in it so you can use a screwdriver? What? Is that the plan? Or are you just chopping them all off? It's going. It's going? Yeah. No it's more anti tamp Ah, I see, yeah. Then that ain't completely isn't going to work. Yeah? Yep. Anti is it not going to work? Not Because the... Thing. I'll have to cut all the way through it. Nice. Because look, the end of the plug goes out that way. Oh, well, yeah. And then we've only got one more plug after that. Nice one. Where's my loom? I don't know, it's not Have around. you ordered me one? Yeah, we ordered it days ago when we first started doing the video. So hopefully it'll be here today and we can get the video finished. Yeah, it's a long walk home. I'm covered in filler, cause I'm on with that. If you know nothing about that, there's a full playlist. That is an XR2 body on top of a Mark 1 Audi TT Quattro. So if you haven't seen that, that's one definitely to check out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, but plenty more content to come. There's the loom out, and that was an absolute pig. That mouse has got a lot to answer for. Little shit. Later. New looms turned up, so let's get it fitted. Come on, Bells. What are you doing there? Hey? What are you doing?
Yes, that's the loom fully fitted. All incorrect. Oh look, an extra plug there. It was missing off the last one. So all I've got to do now, plug the diagnostics in. Hopefully that fault cord's going to erase and not come back. We will be leaving the engine cover off so Mr Mouse has nowhere else to live and can move on to somebody else's car. Let's plug the top down and back in and see what we get. We've still got the lights on the dashboard. It's fine in the vehicle. There's a link down below in the description of where you can buy this from if you want one. I can't believe for the money how good this piece of equipment is. With a free upload software, that is awesome. If it had DPF regen, I'd sell my Snap-on Modis today. But sadly it doesn't, but what a piece of equipment. It's going through the health report. Just found the fault with the engine. So there we go. So we've got a fault with the turbocharger boost control, which we had before. The steering angle sensor, I'm not worried about. As soon as we start moving the car, that'll sort itself out. So if we clear the cords. Yep, clearing the cords now. So now we've only got the steering angle sensor coming back, which will go out once it's been moved. It's now up and running. No engine light. This light and the other light will go out once the steering is being moved to a certain position. I'm happy with that. It's back on the road. Is this my horse? That little mouse, cause I'm an albatross. Ooh.